Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. This week's Most Wanted show, we're profiling those persons who are wanted on traffic charges. This month happens to be Distracted Driving Month. Your police department serves you every day in a different way. The police are mighty handy in these circumstances. The life savings of many persons are still intact because of expert protection by their police. Christopher Aaron Austin. After being arrested for DWI and negligent driving on Old Love Point Road in Stevensville on March 5, 2005, Christopher Austin was scheduled to appear in court on January 25, 2007. However, he failed to show and a bench warrant was issued for his arrest. After his divorce was finalized, Austin sold his Nichols Manor home in Stevensville, Maryland and relocated to Daytona, Florida. Austin has a new address on North Frederick Avenue in Daytona Beach, just a few blocks away from the Speedway. It's believed that he is likely working as a welder. Investigation indicates that he still maintains contact with several persons here in Queen Anne's County. And with those persons, we need your help. Christopher Aaron Austin is listed as a white male, six foot and about 175 pounds with brown hair and brown eyes. If you have any information about this guy or if he comes back to visit anyone here in Queen Anne's County, please let local authorities know. Claudette Cotu Goman. On November 7, 2006, a Maryland State Trooper stopped a 2006 Chrysler on Route 18 in Chester here in Queen Anne's County. She was arrested for DWI and resisting arrest. The driver, Claudette Goman, went to trial in March of 2007 and pled guilty to the DWI charge. She received 12 months suspended and placed on probation. By June of 2007, a bench warrant was issued for violation of probation due to the failure to pay fines to report to the probation office and by leaving the state. According to 2007 divorce records, Goman relocated from her Chester address to Jacksonville, Florida. Claudette Goman is a 52-year-old white female. She's five foot four inches tall and weighs about 135 pounds. She has brown hair and hazel eyes. She may be also known as Claudette Cotu. She could also be living in an area where French is the spoken language. Jose Carlos Lima. In August of 2009, Deputy stopped a 1995 Honda on Route 301 near Greenspring Road for displaying stolen tags. The driver identified himself as Jose Carlos Lima and that he did not possess a driver's license. Lima was unable to explain the tags and stated that the car belonged to a friend that he had just borrowed the car. Lima was placed under arrest and the car impounded due to being unregistered. After processing, Lima was released on his own recognizance by a district court commissioner. On the scheduled trial date, Lima failed to appear and a bench warrant was issued by the judge. Jose Carlos Lima is a Hispanic male, he's 5 foot 7 inches tall and weighs about 175 pounds. The address Lima gave was 1925 Merrimack Drive in Hyattsville, Prince George's County, Maryland. Marilyn Elaine Miller. Following a traffic stop on Route 302 near Dixon Tavern Road on the 29th of February in 2004, the driver, Marilyn Miller, was issued a citation for driving while suspended or revoked and then she was released. Ms. Miller failed to show up for trial and a bench warrant was issued on May 17, 2004. Her last known address was 145 Queen Street in Dover, Delaware. At the time she was issued the citation, she was driving a car with Pennsylvania registration. She could also be in the southeastern portion of Pennsylvania. Marilyn Elaine Miller is an African-American female in her 40s. She's five foot six inches tall and weighs about 190 pounds. If you have any information on Ms. Miller, you're urged to send us an anonymous tip or contact local authorities. John William Truett Smith, charged with driving on a revoked license after being stopped on Parsons Island Road in June of 2004. John Smith failed to appear for court later that year, resulting in a bench warrant being issued. At the time of the stop, Smith was residing at 1707 Bayside Drive in Marling Farms. When deputies attempted to serve the warrant, they learned that Smith had moved to Quebec, Canada. Since that time, the investigation has indicated that he may also have an address in Hollywood, California, and that he still may on occasion visit his family here on Kent Island. John William Truett Smith is a white male. He's 63 years old. He's 5 foot 10 inches tall and weighs 175 pounds. He has brown hair and brown eyes. Smith has discoloration on both his arms and a scar on his leg. He uses various forms of the name including John T.W. Smith, John Truett Smith, J.T. Smith, as well as John T. Christensen. A caution to law enforcement, 
as Smith has a warning for resisting arrest and fighting with the police. If you have any information on this guy, you're urged to contact local authorities, and any tips that you have would be appreciated in bringing this guy to justice. As many of our viewers know, the Queen Anne's County Office of the Sheriff could not do its job without the many tips that our community provides. Your trust and confidence in your law enforcement agency to bring these cases to court is amazing. And I'll tell you, it's so great every single week to bring you the arrests and clearances that we have. And it's because of you, the viewer, and the tip that you provide that these cases are brought to justice. Recently profiled was Timothy Wason, who on the day that that episode last aired was located in Sudlersville and the warrant was served. Also on that episode that last aired, Chloe Nicole McKenney was profiled after numerous calls and tips were received by our office and probably she got a few phone calls as well. She contacted the court and resolved the charges with the warrant being recalled. Profiled several times since the warrant was issued in November of 2009, Emmanuel Adesine was located in Prince George's County several days ago. At this time a detainer has been filed pending his release there. I want to take this time as always to thank all of our viewers here on Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted Show. It wouldn't be possible though with the help of QAC TV 7, the support from the Queen Anne's County Commissioners, and as I always say, you the viewer, your tips are so important to us. Please keep those tips coming in for these wanted shows. Again, bringing criminals and fugitives to justice. If you have any information about these wanted people or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.